been a stressful couple of months. Um, actually, it's been a stressful eight months, I would say. Um, we have new neighbors that moved in next door mm -hmm. uh, last year, and they moved in with a really big, big, big barking dog. And uh, it was important to us because it keeps us up at night. Uh, I'm a mom of a school-aged child, and I have to put her to bed in a reasonable hour. And when she's trying to sleep, and I'm trying to sleep after a hard day's work, and you have a, a dog barking from nine to midnight, it, it just, you go insane. Um, one evening when the dog was, you know, have an excessive barking sp spell from, you know, nine to midnight, I was at my wit's end. I had to get, get up early the next day and work. So I called the police and the police came out and um, she stayed and listened and she said, yep, he's getting a ticket. And uh, four days later it happened again. I reached out to the management and said, hey, I've done everything in my power to try to um, you know, fix this between us and it's not working and we're not getting any sleep and can you step in? And then just a few weeks after that, I received a um, letter on my door uh, at the end of March that my lease would not be renewed. And when I said why, um, he said, no one reason in particular. And I said, I know why. It's because I spoke up about the noise violation. And um, what we're hoping for is that um, you know, Mr. Trotty would see um, that uh, the situation needs to be addressed and see that I have a community of supporters behind me who um, think I'm being targeted and getting a raw deal. I don't want my life to be turned upside down because of someone's barking dog and because of a non-responsive management team here. And um, my daughter doesn't deserve it. And I I don't deserve to have to do it again. I'm a single mom and things don't come easy for single moms. I don't have any family here. I do this all with the help of friends. We took down walls, we took down doorway, we extended walls, we built a privacy wall, um, we built a, a wall to, to give us a, a, a closet. It seems to me that when you come into a community and you build housing, you build properties, and you manage those properties, and you lease a house out to people. It seems like that role in the community would come with some some personal integrity, some um, some responsibility, and you know this isn't just about my story. This is about. Um, hoping that landlords in our communities do right by the people who support them.